Ladies and gentlemen, Boris and Goris. Michael B., what are we taking here? Say the right thing, or I'll be so sad. Um, probably what? Molten Rain. <laughs> he did not say the right thing. No, it's obviously but treachery. He knows. He knows he didn't say the right thing. He knows what he did wrong, guys. He's like a puppy in the sense that like, I, sh I have to rub his nose in the molten rain now because he did wrong. What about the milk? I have to rub his nose in his own milk of his puppy. Oh man, now they got Yawgmoth's will? I don't know how effective that is in this cube. What are you talking about? Me and Rob stormed twice. You did? Yeah, what are you oh, crazy? there's storm in this cube? There's infinite storm in this cube. Okay, well then, take it. I don't care. Oh, now we have to take it because the storm exists? And no, it doesn't make don't. any sense. We don't. You play Palladium, yeah, that's like a What Thorin. cube comes after Grixis? Uh, tomorrow starts the modern cube, so... What'd you say about Plague Mirror? Palladium Mirror? Mm -hmm. That's what you're picking? I'm just, it's an option. There's a Bulldog in this chat. There's a Coercive Portal in this pack, not chat. Dang it. I'm getting... Look, you could, the Runaway Steamkin and the Ulamog have the same arm positions. Sort of? What are you talking about? This one's up and that one's up and then this one's going down and this one's going... What are you talking about? Sort of. The same yeah, but he arm. also has two other arms that are both going down. Well, I'm sorry, the runaway steam can't, can't account for missing arms. <clears throat> I don't know how hastily they have to add it. They just have to put it onto the list, right? <clears throat> I'm gonna take this course of portal. I take mana leak. Well, that's why you suck. It's not. I was just giving him a hard time because I suck for other reasons. I'm gonna take this ponder. Really? No. What are you taking? Jace? Ooh, Jace is good. Yeah, I'd probably take Jace over Ponder. Would you? Yeah. God, you're terrible. No, just kidding. That's a good choice. What about here? What's your pick here? No, it's definitely not Argo's Bloodfast. What about Villas, Broker of Blood? I don't know. Is he any good? I haven't played him. Do you know what he does? Yeah, he draws you cards. You lose life. What about Knight of Evanblade? Not really interested in that at all. What about Goblin Dark Dwellers? Eh. Eh. <clears throat> I do like Venser. I also like Disallow. I like Disallow a lot, actually. I like Venser or Karanos. <clears throat> Venser or Karanos. Sounds it smells like he's making waffles in there. He's probably just making some toast. See, look, now we took we took Disallow, so we could take this Torrential Gearhawk and build all around it. Look how late this. Look, there's a Wheel of Fortune here. There's a Vampiric Tutor. There's a look at all these Storm cards. I mean, Vampire 2 really goes in any deck. Denmark, what's going on, buddy? It does go into any deck, but right now we're taking this turn. <coughs> Are we mono blueing? Maybe. Is it Signet? Echo of Eons, look, man. Look at the storm cards we could have had. God, he's so. <coughs> I'll take it as a Signet, sure. Oh, Time Warp? That's exciting. I can't get it back with Torrential Gear Hulk. We can treachery their guy and then Time Warp. Yeah. You ever played this? Did we talk about this last week? Yeah, we did. Card's broken. So broken. I kind of want to just take it. What about Guild of Lotus? I like Guild of Lotus. But this card's irreplaceable. Really? I'm All taking right. it. Okay. We're going to we're gonna go. <clears throat> we're going deep here, boys. This is also another time warp if you have a time warp in the, in the 8. Did you know that? No, you didn't know anything. Because you only think about yourself. Got him. I got to accentuate the Michael Hey man, bees. that's like eight mana to play five spells. You think there's only five card types? More or less. Probably more though, right? Artifact, enchantment, instant, sorcery, creature. Planeswalker. Planeswalker. Land. Land. What else you got? It's got to be more. Tribal. Right? Yeah, tribal's weird. But it counts because that's the only other thing, right? So if you play a if you play an instant, can you also play a tar fire as a tribal card type? I don't know. I don't know either. That's interesting. Oh man, come on, no I'll take a big tubes here. We might be black. I just think the pilgrims are. I guess so. If you want to be lame. I don't want to be like... a crap about a Pilgrim's Eye. Well, we can get like... We have like one, two... We have three artifacts. It could be a fourth artifact. I'm taking it. I'm staying the course, man. 
Why are you so committed to Mono Blue, man? Because we're already we're halfway there. So what are you thinking now? Smokestack? Ulamog. Okay. And then that that Gilded Lotus is gonna table. I don't think so. I think there was eight cards exactly in that pack actually. <clears throat> On the table anyway, if you pull like Gilded Lotus. What did you say about Guild Lotus? People like it. Yeah. Look, now we got Kozilek. Look at all these Zildrazis we got. Our show and tell is looking lit with one piece of ramp. <laughs> we got Pilgrim's Eye. That's not ramp. I know. <sighs> Accentuate the Mogglebees. Is Saga a card type? Yeah, I think so. Unless Enchantment is a card type and then Saga is a super type like Tribal. A super type. Fire of industry. All right, so now I'll take the blood fast, I guess. Oh boy, they're really forcing us into this black. <clears throat> oh, all right. Maybe we're just artifacts. Maybe we're mono blue, mono brown. Maybe we're blue brown. Slash silver. Maybe we're silver brown, silver blue, silver fox blue, blue fox. One fish, two fish. Is something wrong with your brain? I don't. Yes. Force of Negation, Jace Balarin. Impulse. They go through the breach, man. What? We can annihilate. We only have one annihilator, though. So what? That's good. It's terrible without that. Sure, we can mill them. If we if we enter the, if we through the breach, the Ulamog, we'll just mill them out. I'll take the Jace. What are you doing oh. down here? Get out of here. Hey. Whatever he pleases. What are you doing? What are you going this way now? <clears throat> He's a real mover. You can barely fit through there, man. Oh, what up, Lil' Willie? That's Lil' Will Stack from uh, from Brooklyn, New York. Hey, I'm walking over here. You know that? You know that meme? That, yeah, I know that You know meme. that I'm walking meme? One, two, three, four, five. I wonder if Metalworker is better than Everflowing Chalice. Chalissimo. Like, we can go Is it Signet into turn four. Chalice is probably table. I do. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you did. I was like, God, that's so... Let's take Metalworker. Let's take Metalworker. Well, let's be blue, 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 black art, blue, brown art. Let's be blue, 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 blue. I've been loving her in the Mu Yanling. What about Star Compass? How do you feel about Star Compass as you scratch your face? It's ramp. <coughs> it works good. It's work, it works well with Metal Worker. Take it. Okay, you need to relax. Take it. What about miscalculation? You like miscalculation? No. No. That's rude. I'm walking over here. I bet a star compass would be good as a face scratching device. Maybe. It's possible. Oh god. He's returned. Oh boy. Nothing even interesting in this pack other than this beautiful boy. Well, that was an easy pick. I had Notion Thief out, and my opponent had Consecrated Sphinx. You know what happens with that? You can just win the game, right? How did you know that? That's fucking amazing. Well, I was also there to see it, so. And they just decided not to win the oh, game. Oh, dang it. I, forgot. <laughs> I was like, wow, is that a commander interaction? Because I had no idea. I've never seen that before. I wonder why they didn't win the game there. I, well, they didn't know, because then they said later, they're like, could I have won the game there? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, no. How bad is Augur in our deck? I don't know. One, two. Pretty yep, bad. That's pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad. Also, it turns out Gearhawk's not looking great at this juncture either. Get that rune blaster, man. Get the blast them runes. We're not blasting any runes. Rather than pay mana cost, it's controlling a discard card that shares a color. So that sucks for these guys. Discarding it, discarding like a disallow to play an Amenito's augury is pretty nice, though. I mean, it's just Spyglass. Whatever. 
you we should play Spyglass to be a metal worker. Actually, you're not wrong. You're not. That's not terrible. Dark Steel ingot sucks my ass. <laughs> Sahili actually could be sucks decent. We have a bunch ass. of non-creatures in our deck. Yeah, let's try the Sahili. Sahili, Sahili. There's a show and tell. You like there show sure is. You like show and tell with these guys? Not really. Wall Drifter? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, Tezzeret's interesting. <clears throat> Actually, Tezzeret seems great with these guys. Oh, let's take Tezzeret. Untap Why two artifacts. Why great with those guys? Untap because you get to untap two artifacts. You can like untap your metal worker or your your one of your one of your these things or your ever flowing chalice if it comes back. I don't think it will. I think this was the pack with ever flowing chalice, and now I feel sad. Yeah, it was. Biscuits and gravy. I'll just take this guy, I guess. He seems okay. Actually, Arcane Artisans are not terrible with these guys. Sure. <coughs> yeah, I need like a... Oh, when you said top-end artifact, I was thinking like Thran Dynamo. Something like that. Oh, Mystic Forge? Mystic Forge. Do, 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 do. Mystic Forge. So we have like one card for this guy, so I'm just going to put you in the sideboard for now. This is also 23 cards, so. Labor Day was basically just a Monday, so. Michael B. overslept. He went to have dinner with his mommy and daddy. What'd you guys eat? Steak them. Just steak? Let me hear no, about them we, sides, we had, boy. Uh, the sides were... What was it? Mashed potatoes. Okay. With the skins. So it was like rustic mashed potatoes. Do you like... When you have mashed potatoes, do you like when they're a little lumpier? Or do you want them like super smooth? I like a lump. I do too. My grandmother used to make them with lumps, and I was like, oh, this is where it's at. I'm going to take yeah, this What was our other side? Know. We had garlic bread and carrots. Do you have Sunny D? No. What kind of carrots? How are they made? They were made with. He made them with, like, uh, maple syrup, so they were kind of sweet. Whoa. Maple syrup carrots? I've never yeah. heard of such a thing. Like, you never, you never done carrots with, like, brown sugar or maple syrup? Brown sugar, yeah, maple syrup. That's a little bit... That's it crazy. might have been brown sugar. It may have not been maple brown sugar. Brown sugar! How come you taste so <laughs> good? That's a Rolling Stones song. Did you know that? I think this guy's fantastic. Also, our metal worker is looking real good. Oh, Mox Opal's interesting. It's just insane in our deck, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know if we have that many artifacts, but it's got to be decent, right? Michael Bees. Yeah, I think it's actually pretty good. I think it's actually pretty good in our deck. Yeah, he Talisman puts it, of yeah, Dominance. He puts the sideboard. Well, because it's gonna be it's gonna be a land. I don't, oh. I'm not gonna count it as a main deck card. Two mana Talisman. Yeah, sure. Or Kefnet. You're obsessed with Kefnet. It's because it's very good, Michael. Ooh, we got a worn power stone. Stone. Per Morn Parstern. <clears throat> mm hmm. Alright, now we need to make some cuts. I'm just cut the Sahili. What? Or the Lodestone, Lodestone Golem. Stone Golem. Yeah. We don't really have an artifact we want to cheat out. Yeah, it's just a 3 5. City of Trade. I hate City of Trader. Oh, Urza seems fantastic in this deck. Oh, yes. That's exactly what I want. Does it? Are you serious? Do you know what this Urza does? Yeah, you can tap an artifact to add blue. Um, it also makes a guy. And then you can pay five and play a card for free? Like, Urza is amazing. What's wrong with it? How do you not get excited about this? This is an artifact card. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Michael Bees. We we'll probably cut Jace. Also, guys, don't forget today is the first day of September. September, so all your subs. Can you guys check and see if the subs are 250 this month? They should be. If you're already a so. subscriber, does it cost you less? I don't know. It should. It should. Only for new subs, sure. But that's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to appeal to. Oh, that have never subbed before. That seems weird. That's a weird distinction. You get nothing. Sword is decent. Revoker is okay. I'm gonna have Spyglass. I'm not super high on Revoker, but I mean, it's might be Sword of Fire and Ice might be better. This is actually, again, this is two of the. This is actually the first time I've seen Sword of Fire and Ice in the cube, and this is two of the <clears throat> two of the three colors. I don't know about gift subs either. I probably cut Jace. Why? It's not that great. I can't really use his other ability any well. Like we don't have stuff to flashback. With I him. think you look at a card and you're like, if I can't use one of its four abilities, it's not good. It's very weird. You did that with um, with Ugin the other day, where you're like, what colorless cards are we casting? Like you completely disregard the other abilities on the card. Like if this was Merfolk Looter, we'd still play it. Would we? Why? Why? Why wouldn't we? Because we got to make a cut, man. It's a classic case of Mike B not reading Thank the you. whole. Oh God! Oh God! Something's happening. A Mike B not reading the whole. Co oh God! <laughs> Jesus, calm down. I'm trying to read Thank this. You. Um, memory lapse repeal. I don't think it's Blink Moth Nexus. Thank you. Probably just repeal, right? Actually, memory lapse maybe. I don't know. Thank you. Reading the whole card just like that Ugin thing, now with the Urza. Yeah, see, that's the same thing. You just don't read all the cards. Well, I know what Urza does. I just don't feel like shuffling and revealing a random card at the top ever works. Gifted subs can, can cost the same amount for the gift over the gift. You can get. Badger with the gifted subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. Um, ooh, Hydro Blast. Thank you. Badger, thank you so much, dude. You are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. They weren't 250. <laughs> yeah, I could see Blast Zone for the board Thank or even the main deck. I realize you're streaming this early. It's the perfect thing to watch. Listen to you do a drawing after. Hey, man. Tim, glad to hear it, buddy. Ooh, Future Sight's interesting. Probably not going to play it, but, you know, it's interesting. We need one cut here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wonder if we have enough artifacts. Maybe we can cut something. <laughs> he said. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. One badger buck. Kerwood, thank you so much, buddy. Look, I ended up getting this stupid Kefnet anyway, you dummy. Got him. Turnabout's actually not terrible. Be like, untap all my artifacts. Let me take commit to memory out, I guess. I almost want more artifacts though. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only have nine? It's not a tremendous amount. I don't know, man. That's like. Half the deck? Yeah. Oh, Mox Opal, too. Lands. Yeah, I forgot Mox Opal. Michael Bees. Hey, we got a cannon feeder. A cannon feeder? Or carry on feeder. Did you call him a cannon feeder? Mm -hmm. Like he's eating cannons? Mm -hmm. Why would he ever, why would he ever do that? His cannons are delicious. So Seeing tough mana base. Nailed it. Do we want we can play the one blast zone? I was thinking that actually. We can play sword. We don't have a ton of creatures. Actually, this makes Spyglass. creatures. Is there anything else to make creatures? <laughs> I 
Well, I mean, this is 40 cards. I'm going to clip this, too, so I know what I'm searching for with like things like Tezzeret. All right. Scooch it on over. Golem? Golem? Oh, Lodestone Golem? I feel like Lodestone Golem actually, like if we play it on four, we can't play any of our five drops on five. And like Future Sight is great, but like we don't have, we have a lot of five drops already. Could be very good, actually. Future Sight might be worth it. Yeah. Wow, this hand is bad. This hand is good. I hope I don't lose. God, I hate losing. It's like my least favorite thing. If someone's like, hey, what do you like doing least in Magic? I'd be like, losing the game. We did play Mono Blue. So I should win? No. Wow, that's messed up. Why are you a hater? Because if any permanent ever resolves we don't like, we're just like, well, see you later. See you later. What are you talking about, man? I'll Pilgrim's Eye it. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's hard to not let things resolve when you only have one counter spell. I hate burning the roof of my mouth and then having to go really slowly when brushing the back of my top front teeth. It's kind of like losing in mat. Is it? Is it? I was going to play Pilgrim's Eye here, but now I'm just going to keep Disallow it because we have mana for course of Portal. Is that a big pun reference? Um... Course of Portal? Or is it Thran Dynamo? I like Course. They're just going to counter it. They're going to be the better blue deck. Oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> Should have waited. God, that's such good value for their miscalculation. No, nope. now I feel bad. Pilgrim Side, the mono blue deck, but not the best sword. Don't seem right. Well, we don't have that many creatures, is the problem. Yeah, we'd actually be taking a creature out to play the sword. Which is awkward. What is this? Five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana next turn. What can we draw with nine? Amanito's Augury. That would be hot. Hot! All right, you got it. Enjoy my disallow. And they're probably like, oh, we don't have to worry about anything. Um, you can have the Ophiomancer. You got it. Okay, one time. Well, isn't that nice? I'd say that was a good draw. No, sir, I don't hate it. We have a lot of good draws here. We have a Tezzeret, Moldrifter, Treachery, Consecrated Sphinx, Augury, any of the 210 drops. Oh, Jesus. That's terrifying. Are they going to sip from the well? They probably got to land on top. Cool. So do we. Yep. Everything's coming up Millhouse. We have drawn eight lands and one, two, three, four cards. <laughs> That's pretty good but not really at all. Maybe they'll kill themselves with the Citadel. 
Pulse of Citadel is a dirty magic card. Something good. I guess that's good. I mean, it's it it's a it's a card that exists. Something good. It's literally just a cantrip here. <laughs> Come on, dude. Are you serious? We're even playing less lands than normal. Yeah, we're playing 16 lands in a Mox Opal, so... A Mopal, if you will. A Mochal? Yeah, a Mox Mochal. How you doing, gurgling? Gurgling? Sounds good. Sounds good. Gurgle until I die. Really? Yeah. I went to gurgle school. You went to Gurgle school? Mm hmm. Give me that Amenato's Augury, bish. Exactly like a Murloc. Hit me with your Murloc. Fire away. Burn, burn, burn. They didn't have a counterspell. That's no, good. They probably just have an un, un, ultimate price. Murderers cut, etc. <clears throat> I'm getting real sad. Reason being that if we played a land on all of our turns, we wouldn't have had to discard this one, and we could have had the extra six mana for Consecrated Sphinx. Let me get back here. Karn? Yeah, Karn's the best card in their, in their arsenal. Now they can just back, get back, never return. Hmm. Well, I'm not giving you a Hilarion Academy, because I'm not an idiot. That only taps for two. Three now. Well, looks like it taps for 50. What do you got? One, two, three, three, six, seven. Is this 10 damage? Right now, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, oh, I forgot that one. Yeah, get in there, that 01. What? <laughs> what? Why? Oh, boy. But the snake, they're like, no, the snake's too good. You got it, man. Come on, Eminatow's Augury still. One time. Daddy needs a little light draw for fuck's sake. That's almost comical, man. They're gonna miss the confluence. Use all three to counter this. They'll use two because he didn't play our land. Shut up and take oh, they're my just money. gonna force a wall? Yeah, we're done. One, you misspelled rent a rhino bug. But you misspelled Bug? Did they? Oh, you misspelled Buck. Oh, look, and then there was another land. And a Tezzeret. Yep, alright. So, that's good times. I had a good time. Future Sight does seem great. Meh. Wow. Really? This gives you one extra card. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and then the card underneath that, and then the card underneath that. Are you being serious? It's okay. It's literally Bolus of Citadel. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta pay mana. Oh, not mana. And they get to know about your card. 
Oh no, not my card. Nobody cares. What are you taking out for it? I don't know. It's a Healy, I guess. Oh wait, Sealy like copies things? Dang. That was a dumb oh this is this is a sneaker. This hand is much better. Um, we only have like nine artifacts in our deck. Forge doesn't seem that great. Oh, we can actually draw a card and then exile Muldrifter. And then draw two and not even care if it gets killed. That seems pretty good. You even care about your little fish friend? I don't. It's messed up, man. It is. You're gonna miscalculate this? Are they just gonna have? Are they just gonna get miscalculated twice? No. Nope. They're just gonna kill it. I said no. Did you? Yeah. That's so weird. Never return. Yep. They need black. Yep. Wow. Exactly what I called. God, I'm so good at this game. I wish my life skills were not limited to, uh... Guessing magic cards? Correct. Ooh. Exciting. Ooh. Hey, man, where's your big coffee? Michael's gonna get a 44-ounce iced coffee today. And then he didn't. I might still get that. Oh, yeah? Put your tongue on this. That wouldn't do anything. Yeah, I'm plugged in, man. He's right. It would just be weird. I was trying to get him. But in the end, it was I who was got. Did they miss a land drop? No, never mind. I get so excited because I'm like, this is the only way I can win this game. Drinking 44 ounces of coffee. My gut. All right, I'm out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head out. Denmark. No, I get what you're saying, but you said bug instead of buck, right? Oh, we should have played Pilgrim's Eye first to hit a land, but then again, that would mean that we were not having this next turn. One, two, three, four, five. This is seven. This would be eight. So if we if we went Pilgrim's Eye, get a land, play the land into Warren Power, so then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So not exactly Kozilek territory. Whereas this guy is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That is Kozilek territory. You can have this by itself. That seems fine. Hit me with Mike's best shot. Fire Mike B. Don't fire me. I'm sorry. You know what this was. Wow. Eldest Reborn is put into their hand. Eldest. Are they just going to play it? Wow, they are going to play it. That's bold. Moldrifter, you got to go, my friend. Go drift somewhere else. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If we play Pilgrim's Eye for three of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're just gonna have the Kozilek here. Oh, they have Force of Will, but I guess we're drawing four cards. So, yep, and they're forcing it. Kozilek should be uncounterable. Really? Is that what you want, though? Yeah. Yeah. Make him uncounterable. I'm here to say that Mike B is not being fired. Dang it! 5-6. I think it's just Warm Power Stone at this point. Chris has got my back. Chris has nobody's back. 
Chris is a monster. That's why they pay him the big bucks. No one has ever paid him a big buck. So if Not this a single big buck, if this goes off next, off next time they just get nothing. That's pretty cool. When they get the mold drifter? No, mold drifter was shuffling back in with the causal. You can oh. see, you can see right here the graveyard. Oh, the causal dot. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I'm forced. He's figuring it out. He's getting there. It was a long, hard journey, but we're getting there. feel so alive for the very first time remember that song oh yeah same big tip big tip yeah is that your wrestling name yeah oh welcome the big tip it's actually a big tipper so we have six mana we got onto five if we dynamo so we can actually go dynamo treachery wow that was your that was your play huh you got two cards in hand I kind of just want to kill this, but oh wow, we just draw this bad. Oh wow, I forgot about the the metal worker for a second. Holy crap! I was like, well, how much mana do we have? One, two, three, four. Is I look, guys? I'm gonna be honest. I'm no expert. Is um playing Kozilek twice in one game is that good? It might be. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have fourteen mana. So you can play a three and dynamo first. One, two, three. So now I have 13 mana. 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So you can play a Pilgrim's Eye? Oh wait, how much does Cosmic cost? 11? 10? 10. 10? Okay. Hmm. I kind of want to Meteor Golem and kill this Jace. Because they only have two cards. And they get back nothing. So. Hmm. I don't even want to like discard the Pilgrim's Eye because they might get it. We can go Meteor Golem Course of Portal, which actually seems pretty good. But then again, we could just get a Kozilek on the board. Oh, they do get it back because I, I'm so stupid. Yeah, I forgot that Elder, we would actually give them something to get back with Eldest Reborn. Yeah, all right, we're just going to play this idiot. This idiot. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Let's draw that disallow. That would be gas. Just realized I was totally supposed to minus the Jace there. Oh, yeah, that's true, because if they minus the Jace, then they would get the Jace back. Um, let's cast Mopal. Just cast Urza here? That seems gas. Your turn. Oh, wow, we're in the main phase. Yeah, that, that the Eldest Reborn just goes into the graveyard, and we have Urza and Kozilek. Yeah, that's pretty good. How much mana did we make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 mana. So we can just activate Urza three times and play three spells for free. Uh, so here's the thing. Target artifact you control becomes a copy of another artifact or creature you control. Hmm, that's interesting. We can make a copy of Metal Worker and then just make a million mana. You like that POD song? It's okay. For the very first time. Do they have any other songs? My dad. Did they do the We Are We Are song? We are, we are. The youth of the nation. You know that song? Or is that a different band? That sounds like POD. I can hear like the songs sound the same to me in my head. In my head. Why are you playing Sahili? Because we took Sahili out because um, the we not what are we chump blocking? In my head, my hack be, my hack be. Uh, I could just sorcerer spyglass this treasure map. <coughs> but 
But we can also do that next turn after we Thran Dynamo. Or do we Urza? Ooh. Yes, correct. Zombie was was the cranberries, not POD. I was not I was not getting those confused. <coughs> oh Mike feels so alive. Okay, they could have your boy. Miss Calc. What? Yeah, Miss Calc. <coughs> Miss Calcano. I don't know what to I don't know what to do. I think it's Thran Dynamo. I'd rather get rid of a, a rampy card than a thread. Rampy. Of course. They always have it, don't they? They they always do. Except for last game. But other other than that, they have had it sixty six percent of the time. Why 66? Because that's two out of three. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you can have... Um, yeah, that's probably better. They took force. All right. Two out of three ain't bad. They're figuring out which card to pitch to this Tesseract. Enclave Crypt, that seems like it was a really easy choice. <laughs> well, next turn we get to Consecrated Sphinx, so that should be okay. We only have Drowned Catacomb in hand. We could also go Spyglass into Urza if we want to protect the Sphinx a little bit, which might be good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Damon Tuner. What did you say? Damon Tuner. Can you zoom in on me? No, man, I would never do that to you. Better not. I would never. I'll burn your throat. What, you like my Sunny D? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Okie dokie. Chase Architect of Thought. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Sunny ba, 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 ba. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, the Hestrax here, boy. Hey, man, you can play a Jace. Not right now, I can't. Why not? Wait. Wait. Oh, God, that's so good. Rip. Oh, wow, that would have been great. Especially because I wouldn't have minded sacrificing the Jace to the Eldest Reborn. Oh, man, that would have been legit. Well, I'm just getting rid of this Construct now. Oh, they're just going to play Bullets to Citadel. Sure. That's why they paid me the big bucks, Frank. Is that? Mm-hmm. Wait. Wait. Oh, do they have just land on top? That's great. That's my favorite thing.
for Christmas this year. Michael B's here. We're just going to go down to zero cards here. Do, 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 do. Oh, yes. Excellent. Put them into my hand. Draw the card. So that's going to be, that could be good. Something, it. something. Dark side. Oh, what are you getting? Snapcaster for... It's got to be Demonic Tutor, I guess. The Mike B is here. This year. <laughs> like what I'm doing right now? I would like you to stop it. I don't even know what's going on. What is Slash Knight? Demo? They're demoing? You know, Demo. I hate that I can't see. I just want a little peeker. A little peekerino. God, it could be anything. So we know both Citadel's gone. Have they played? All right, that's fine. They play like off the top there at nine. Jeez. Looks like they're dead. No, it doesn't look like that. They're yet. dead. Okay. Well. Super dead. Don't talk about your little peeker. This is. <laughs> Oh, we'll talk about their peaker. They're at five. Jesus. Now they are dead. What are they doing? Now they're just gonna scry one thing to the bottom, and they're just gonna pray. You've got to pray, pray. Have they used Jace yet? Mm, no, they can't because I have this card called Sorcerer's Oh yeah. Spy. Five, six mana. Five mana. Five, six mana. Kite sail for booty. Oh, he's kite sailing for your booty. That's inappropriate. That's just what he's doing. You got it. You stole my... My beautiful creation. <laughs> okay. That's a big, that's a big boy. Oh, here we go. We're going to never return. Wait, did they already use never return? No. Dang, that was last game. All right, they're going to kill Consecrated Sphinx. Because <sighs> they never don't have the fucking answer. They're at three. Doesn't mean anything. What do we have? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Sure. I don't know what to actually sacrifice here, to be quite honest. If we sack the construct, we're actually losing two live draws, which is Kozilek and Lumog. Six, seven, eight, nine. Um, if we sack the Jace, we're losing one draw. If we sack the Urza, it's the same as sacking the Construct. Yeah, that sucks. I still think the extra card and also... Urza is just too good here. Oh, well, six. Wow, if we just activated Urza there, we would have hit Kozlik. That's hilarious. Uh, we have six, seven, eight. So we can actually activate Urza. Are you restricted to cat to timings with Urza? I think so. Oh, it shuffles. Okay, good call. Yeah, then.
Okay, well. Oh, we're going to have to discard this anyway, so. I'll just go back in the deck. Well, they're kind of limited to what they hit with this. What is this? Six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana. We can actually spin the wheel twice. What are our outs? I mean, like, we're at twenty, and they don't have a ton of pressure on the board. So I think, I think, I mean, they're at three. So Bolas the Citadel is almost turned off. So I'm not really sure what we need outs against. Like, they're basically in top deck mode. Maybe that's being presumptuous, but. We don't have a ton of options with Bullets of Citadel when they're at three. Well, see that's see that's a good card. That's a clock. <sighs> that is a clock. Yeah, so now we need outs. Because but previously we could block here with the, the one one. And we take like five. That's not a huge deal. And like they don't even actually Jesus, of course they have a ruinous path. Oh boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Uh oh, seven, eight mana. Fan fucking tastic. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. If they didn't have, if they don't have Ruinous Path, we get to cast Kozilek and actually have a chance, maybe. Uh, probably not, because they just attack for seven and then they go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they only had eight permanents. Wow, that's really stupid. Uh, yes, we could not cast Kozilek. Cutting the JC happy? Not really. Why? Because I think Future Strike is stupid. Do you really? Yeah. Are you being serious? I can't tell if you're like trolling or not. I don't think it's that great. Have you ever cast a Future Sight? Yeah, it's okay. You have. You've cast a Future Sight. Yes, in Magic I've cast a Future Sight before. And you thought it wasn't that great? It was okay. It's not like game breaking. It's pretty game breaking. No. Oh Jesus! No. Oh Jesus! No. Oh, Jesus. oh I hate Mike bees alive for the very first time. I just feel like magic is too fast for future sight. Magic in general? As a game, like, that's crazy. What are you talking about? Like, you just tap five for an extra card, and then you just die. It's not an extra card. Like, you literally just get to keep playing spells until you're out of mana. Like, why you keep saying it's an extra card? Like, it's not just one extra card. It may be a couple extra cards sometimes. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have eight mana here. Which is sad because all we can do is play Sphinx, I guess. Did you just toot? No, that was me moving the thing. Did you just toot? No, that was this. You fucking tootin' biscuit. Oh yes, give me them crads, boy. Oh, they drew a preordain, so they get the lightning bolt. My metal worker. It's okay, he's already done his job. Which is really nothing because we already had the two extra mana anyway. But that's it's off. Oh, Just then draw up. a card? Yes. Yes. Is Oracle of Maldaya bad too because you only get to draw a card from it? You only get to put a card into play? It's different because it costs four mana and it's a creature. So it costs four instead of five? Yeah. It's one mana cheaper. And it's also only cost one green. Future side is triple blue. But that, that has no that has no relevance to our deck because we're mono blue. Sure. This guy's dead. 
I'm just saying in general, you know, if we're comparing the cards. Are we? Okay. They're drawing another card? Oh my god. What are you doing? Look, I had a future site. Look, I have a future site. Wow. I'm going to play my PG site. Really? Is this how you're going to be? Might want to time war first. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to play Signet first. Is that okay? No, man, play the future site first. You might have a time warp on top, and then you can not cast it because you don't have the mana. Bobby Biscuits. Five, six, seven, eight. We're so close to. Who's Bobby Biscuits? Buddy, you know who Bobby Biscuits is. <laughs> I haven't heard that name in ages. That is a name I haven't heard in. Oh, look, free land. Dang it, there's another one on top. If it was an Oracle, you get to play it. That's cool, bro. Do -do 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 -do. I don't even know if I want to draw cards here, to be honest with you. Maybe some kind of little mitch. No, I do, because I want to hit a dis disallow. Do I want to draw more cards? Okay. My name is Bobby Biscuits. I live in for the Triscuits. He lives for the Triscuits. His name is Bobby Biscuits. My name is Bobby Biscuits. Six, seven, eight, nine. So if we play this, we have five. We have four mana left over. Um, and then we untap two. So we have six mana. So what we can do, we can actually go Sahili, Treachery this, make a bunch of Nerdos. Okay, so Healy first. Uh, big Tretch. Big Tretch. Okay, one. Oh, we just won the game. Okay. We're gonna play a Tezzeret. Sword seems great here. Are you doing okay? Yeah. Do you need Jesus? If Jesus means coffee, yes. Do you need coffee, Jesus? Ooh, coffee, Jesus. Now we're talking. He turns water into coffee. I don't know what to cut. Like, I feel like all the, all the cards... Yeah, Hydroblast, you're going hard. Well, they're playing blue and red, so... Counters a Karanos, and that seems important. Karanos, if you will. You ever call them Karanos? Also counters if they have a Pyroblast. A Piranos? No. Jesus will kill you by turning your water inside your body into coffee. That's rough, dude. Oof. Oof. If the coffee grounds turn the water into coffee, wouldn't that mean Jesus is made of coffee grounds? <laughs> Carrot nose? What does that mean? John, what are you saying right now? He's referring to Karanos. Oh, okay. uh, that's... Wow, I didn't even catch that. You're so smart. Yeah. Look, you want to take the future side out? I do. I can't even believe you. You're like the weirdest person I've ever Just met. Just leave it in, man. I know you love it. It's so. too late. I've already taken it out. Wait, you did? Yeah. You actually listened to me? That's weird, man. I know. It didn't feel good when I was doing it, but it happened. Every, I think everyone disagrees with me, so you're probably wrong, and I'm probably wrong. I mean, you're probably right, and I'm probably wrong. Um, can we get yeses and noes in the chat? Yes, if Future Sight is good. No, if Future Sight is not good. Just a simple yes, no response stream. <laughs> it's like 100% yes. Okay, well, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Lil Willie's just doing it to defend you. Lil Willie, what up, Lil Willie? Yeah. 
Oh, God. I just think it's a slow card, that's all. It's kind of dirty. But that doesn't matter. Why does that not matter? Because it's we're a dirtily control deck. I mean, you, this isn't Zendikar Limited, man. It can be. I've seen Mono Red once. Ooh, that's scary. No, sir, I don't like it. Maybe he'll only have, like, um, the Molden Avenger. Wait, we just destroy a red permanent, right? That's a good idea. <laughs> so I like it a lot better now. God, Hydrobrast and Pyroblast are fucking insane, dude. Yeah, when they're good, they're insane. So one mana Vindicate. Like, what on the earth were they thinking? They're like, if this said counter target red spell, I'd be like, wow, that's really good. And then it's like, oh, uh, also just kill the permanent if it's already in play. Wow, we just got rid of sneak attack and Jace. That's. I think they're done though in the Bunzo. Um, we're living, we're living the dream for sure. We can actually go Sahili and then play Mox Opal. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have six mana next turn. Have you played Mono Red yet? Yes. How'd it go? Two one. Not bad. So I'm tempted to go Sahili into Mox Opal. Mox Opal will give us another one one, and then we'll also have Metal Craft. Just couldn't get that trophy. Look at me, I almost overpaid there. What are you, some kind of idiot? How can we ramp with Sahili? That sounds crazy. You make a copy of a rampy card, right? Right, but we don't have any yet, so it's not like... What if you copy the Mox Opal? Well, it's legendary, so we wouldn't get a chance what to... What if it wasn't? Well, then you could what do it. What if the copy wasn't a legendary? Uh, uh, then it would be a different card. Oh, we just win this match. Okay, well, that was... They're that demoralized was... from the destroy and the so, counter. So we could have played this guy next turn, drawn a card. Would have hit Metal Worker, played... Me yeah, all right, so... Our deck is sweet when it does That was thing. fast, man. I want to go fast. Ricky Bobby, 2019. You gotta go fast. Sonic the Hedgehog. Every year of his life. Felipe is watching some Crunchyroll. He's got Crunchyroll? Man, I'm jealous. Are you jealous? Yeah. I was I was thinking about investing in that. What is it, like six bucks a month or something? Yeah, it's pretty cheap. <laughs> Why would you be jealous of that? Just get it. I'd be afraid I wouldn't use it enough. Why would you be afraid of that? Oh, snap. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is a PBS? What is... Wait, what is this? Why does it say PBS.20? What is... What is this? Alright, guys. I'm just going to clip this because it seems like the easiest way to do it. Maybe. Why can't I screen grab this? Just clip it, man. No, I already got clip open of the deck. So save that. Alright, we got Oko, Thief of Crowns, boys. Three mana, three Sol Simic mana for a four loyalty planeswalker. Create a flood token. Okay, I don't know what that, don't know what that, that is. Does. Target artifact or creature loses all abilities and becomes a green elk with base power and toughness 33. So it's got like Pongify. That's actually pretty good. Plus one to Pongify something? That ability is insane because you can neutralize a, an opposing big creature or make one of your like elves into a big dude. Negative five, exchange control of an artifact or creature you control and target creature and opponent controls is power three. Okay, that's less impressive. I need to know what a flood token is. Oh, a food token. What is a food token? Hmm. Huh. What the hell's a food token? I don't know. Maybe it's delicious. God, I'd hope so. I'll keep this hand. Mike B lives in a museum. Shooter McGavin, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, look, it's mono red. Good thing we don't have... Uh, future site in here yeah see I'm a genius <laughs> oh wait we do have future side don't we no well uh, yeah dang it baby shark Michael baby do 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 Food tokens are just the M&Ms I use while playing my Simic decks, right? Probably. Yeah, they're just the tokens that you guys already use. 
This is gonna be a the second ability seems very screens. good though. Yeah, especially because it's a plus one. You can make your little fairies into three threes. Oh, make your little fairies into three threes. That's how you sound. Do you understand? Does it bother you? I don't even care. Wow. I don't care. Is the second ability a minus? No, it's plus. It's plus one. And it's plus two and plus one. There are two Ooh. plus abilities. Ooh. Also, is this just how planeswalkers are gonna look? Because that would full be sick. Art. Yeah, I don't know. Magic magic doesn't do enough with their with their full artedness. I think full art should just be cards in general. So do I. That'd be sick. But I'd also be okay with if they used it sometimes because they don't use it at all right now. And I think it's like, can you just do it on cards that aren't foil so I can play with them and not feel bad? Yeah, it's a four, four loyalty planeswalker that costs three mana that either goes up to six or five, which is pretty good. All planeswalkers are topless? Is that true? I mean, I, f I feel like you're making a joke with the way you worded it, but I also don't know if you're being factual because that sounds like it could just be a, a true thing, John. <sighs> what are they doing? Are they figuring out which three mana burn spell they're gonna, which three burn, three damage burn spell they're gonna use on this? Hmm, should I use searing blaze or, or molten touch? <laughs> <laughs> molten touch, huh? Like I used a real card than a fake card. Yeah, and the the real card Actually, wouldn't even Molten work touch might be a real card. There might be a magic. There's card. no molten touch. Let's look it up to be sure. All right. It's a lot less funnier if it's a real card. There ain't no molten touch. Okay. Oh, molten touch! Wow. Oh, there's a there's a spell in Warcraft called molten. T Wait, what? You're dealing one damage. Oh, and then you're burst lightning it. So this is a two for one? You just two for one just to get rid of this thing? Hmm. All right. Pulls target through the twisting nether, stunning them for 1.8 seconds while rapidly swiping. Each swing applies sing singed and triggers a molten flare. Singed? Is it singed? Singed and singed being spelt the same is really weird. Oh, molten touch. What is a singed? That's not a word, man. <laughs> Touch target opponent's baguette. Somebody touch my spaghetti. I hear you, buddy. Can't believe that's a real cartoon. I can't believe you're a real cartoon. You old, you old, biscal, mix miscal. Listen here, buddy. I'll touch spaghetti as long Your as your glasses I want. just fell. Thank I know. You. That wasn't intentional. It happened with the. It was intentional. With the whip of your face. It was super intentional. No, don't. Don't you don't lie. think I have control over my glasses? Chef Jr., thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. And MTG Pyro, thank you for the bits, man. You guys are great. I love you guys. I hope they can't get a card here. I hope they can't either. But uh, you know what the funny thing is? Concert of Things blocks Hazaret all day. That's true. At A's true. Two more lands, we get to go this and then to this. You know? You know what I'm saying? Wow, they just fire blasted our Molt Drifter? Well, that's pretty good. I guess they're nining us here. I think we're dead. Oh, Jesus. God, the red deck is fun. So if they have any spell, we die. This is going to be good. Well, they had a land, so now they can just discard whatever they have. Oh, they're just going to play that? No, no prowess triggers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Oh, boy. Let's bring in the Pro Red Sword. Let's bring in Hydro Blast. Seems good. I'm not expert, but... Let's bring in Lodestone Golem. Let's take out the Future Sight. Mike hates it. Let's take out Treachery. Oh, I was going to say take out the Golem. The Lodestone Golem? No, the other one. Seven drop one. Meteor Golem? Yeah. I mean, I'd rather take out, like these guys. Sure. Gods from Kefnet, you block. Torrential Gear Hulk, you can bust up some shit. Bust up some shit. Memory Lapse yeah. actually seems uh, decent. Oh, uh, 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 yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? No. Uh, can we find out? No. Oh, boy. 
Michael B. Slippity doop dot do 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 skip do 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 do. Michael B. Hey Frank, can you look at the spoiler? What spoiler? What the fuck are you guys talking about? Rob, if you're talking about the Planeswalker, we already it's went over that. It's listed by Wizards. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, you mean the one I literally just showed on screen? The one I literally just read the entire card of and talked about how he has four loyalty and he gets plus two and plus one? Yeah, I'll, I'll read that. I'll read that a little bit later. Somebody wasn't here for that. Baby shark. He's just yelling at me, hey, can you look? Hey, can't, doesn't mean you should ignore my messages. Wow. There's that, uh... Oh, that was a good... What was the message about you and Rob? I don't know what you're saying right now. I think you're actually shit-faced drunk. That there was something... We need to. Oh, there's a lot of tension between Rob and I, and Rob seemed coked out in the last video, is what someone said. <laughs> <laughs> is that happening now? Rob, he's like, he's doesn't mean you need to ignore messages. <coughs> Rob is like the girlfriend that, that you don't... Uh... I don't know how that works. Hold on. That you don't respond to? Yeah, or like the boy, you get boyfriend, anybody really. Anybody who's real aggressive when you're like... It's like that shitty partner that you don't really respond to, and you're just like, and then they get really aggressive about it. And they're like, "Why don't you respond? Did you not make my phone call?" I fuck. I'm so over self here. Oh, we're dead. Super dead here. Ninety nine thousand percent dead. Do you take an extra turn that just deals you two extra damage? Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? I cannot believe you have done this. We can put this on three. We better. It's our only hope. Don't do to attack with Urza, but then they just double block. <laughs> it seems bad. Well, they just take it. It stings. It's gonna be consecrated sphinx, and it's giving me question plans. Oh, that's good actually. So one, two. So it's at one, so we can pay four to pop it, and then we have one, two. So actually, what we can do is go one, two, three, four. Play this, and then go one, two, three, four to put counters on this guy. Yeah, that seems good. Michael B. Michael B. Do 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 do. Mike talks like his jaw is melting. Oh, jeez. Maybe it's because my jaw is melting. Jerk. It's because his mouth is so small. Yeah, don't make fun of my small mouth. I'm sorry. It's just not very tiny. It's just... I was talking to Rob, not you. But oh. you as well. Well, maybe it wasn't so small. I can't help it, man. Are you to stretch it out? Stretch your mouth. Okay, that sounds absolutely terrible. <laughs> Couple pliers and some wires. Couple pliers and some wires. Bang, bang, dirt, dirt. Uh, done. Oh my God! You have more bullshit. Jesus Christ. 
<sighs> Don't tell me to relax, Rob. I'll stretch my mouth out as much as I want. You think we're going to win this one? Nope. Just food Mike whole burgers. Especially when we draw two lands in a row. Yeah, it's not great. Cool. So to be clear, we've drawn five, six, seven, eight, uh, ten sources of mana and one, two, three cards. So ten to three seems good. I like that our opponent's making jokes about the all the fucking lightning bolts that they're throwing at my face. Are they really? Stormy weather with all the lightning. Yeah. I mean, we're dead here, so. I don't know. Sex seemed fun, but. What if we made mini chicken sandwiches out of nugs? Yeah, use, uh, use some Hawaiian sweet rolls. Put a nug on that. Boom. Chicken Sandy. Why didn't they dash that guy in? I don't know, man. Oh. <laughs> For obvious reasons, I guess. So we can kill this and this, but we still have to deal with three creatures. So. Never don't have it. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on patreon.com slash franklapore along with twitch.tv slash franklapore. Uh, Manatraders and coolstuffinc.com are also great sponsors that you can find the links and the dis and the promo codes in the description below. So be sure to check those out. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>